As you can tell, the pressure is intense. We've been invited to Silverstone for Formula Student, students, where Quickgrind and Newcastle University have been working closely together to develop their electric car, the NRX. As you probably see by my hair, it's a little bit windier than anticipated. So let's see what's going on with the guys. James, um, the car's changed since last time we saw it. What, what have we done to it? Um, we've finished it, hopefully. <laughs> we're uh, currently working on it. We've had a few minor issues in scrutineering. So we're just trying to sort those out and hopefully get through next time. So no problems, so it'll be good to race on Saturday and Sunday? That's what we hope, <laughs> yeah. And how fast is it? Um, it should top out at about 80 and not to 60 in about 2.7 seconds. Impressive so, stuff. Pretty rapid, yeah. That's what we'd like to think. <laughs> and who's a brave driver? Um, we're taking turns. Everyone with these white wristbands is one of our drivers. All right, well, I might see you tomorrow with one of those on then. Thanks very much. Hopefully. See you then. We're in the pits at Silverstone. Now, Graham, this might be a stupid question. Where's the car? Uh, unfortunately, the car's over at Scrutiny. Um, few issues, but they're going to get around it all. It's very, very difficult, especially when it's an electric car. Uh, there's a lot more involved in the, the, the petrol-driven vehicles, but they're going to get there. They're going to nail it, yeah. But it's not just their car. Every car has to go through this intense scrutineering. Every single car has to go through scrutineering. As you can hear in the distance, the uh, petrol-driven cars have to go through a noise uh, uh, emission test. Um, Sorry, I missed that. I'm not saying the... <laughs> but uh, as you probably are aware, electric cars usually pass the, the noise emission very, very, very quickly and, and very well. So, yeah, um, but it's unfortunate the car's not here for you to, to see it in the, the pits. But um, the boys have got to go through this and they'll, they'll get there. You know. And Graham, Quick Run's job is now done, I understand. Yes, I, I can relax now. We've got them here, you know, we've assisted them. And they've been very, very grateful to us. Like, you know, we've got a lot of coverage out of it ourselves. So I can so I put my feet up now and just watch a race tomorrow. Really. Are you driving? Uh, no, I'm too big. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to be under 50 kilos and 20 years ago I was under that. So unfortunately, I, if I got in the car, I would not get out. So, and so what's the next step then? Racing? Racing tomorrow. There's five, six different events to do. They do uh, straight line speed tests, they do a figure eight, skid pan testing. Um, they also do uh, lap time testing as well. I'm not too sure what else to do. The brake testing as well, we see who's got the best, best brake in. And uh, there's also a partner net where the best looking car as well and the best developed car. So a lot to do tomorrow. Yep. Graham, thanks very much. Looking forward to it. Good luck. Yeah, thank you.